Hey guys, this is Trade Runner with Trading Analytics, and in today's video, we're taking a look into another stock that we think that you should add to your long-term portfolio, and that is Shopify. But before we get into that, you guys already know the drill. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button and click that notification bell if you enjoy the type of content. It really helps the channel out. Let's get to the video, guys. So Shopify is a global e-commerce giant based out of Canada, which was founded about 16 years ago. And this company has seen its stock boom over the last few years, in part due to several major economic factors, namely the coronavirus pandemic, the online uh, shopping boom over the last few years, as well as the, the proof from the giants such as eBay and Amazon that online shopping is a viable business model and the the need for innovation as well as alternatives to those two you know big players in this space necessitated the need for an, another company to come in and kind of force its way into the market share in some way now, with Shopify, this is very intriguing for long-term investors because this stock, as I mentioned, has saw a huge boom during the pandemic where you saw this, the, the share price go as high as over $160 per share. Right now, the stock's trading at about $30 per share, but it still holds a lot of long-term intrigue. And you can take a look at the financials of the company and just kind of get an understanding why investors are so bullish on this particular company long-term. So first thing we want to do is let's take a look at the market cap of um Shopify and kind of see what makes this so attractive to a long-term investor. Now, as you can see here, the market cap for Shopify is just under $40 billion, which in a vacuum does not seem that bad, right? You see it's the 387th most valuable company in the entire world, which is great because there's a lot of companies out there in the world. But when you consider the fact that the market cap for the company in November of 2021 was as high as $211 billion, which again coincided with the, the, the near the end of the coronavirus pandemic where online shopping was really the only way people can buy products and stuff. But... Um, that kind of just shows that even though it's at $40 billion now, it does represent a bit of a drop off from where its highs were. Now, all in all, that also adds some intrigue to investors because it shows that this company has a ton of potential going forward and that it's barely scratching the surface of what it can be in two, three, four or five years time. So the next thing I want to do, I want to take a look at the balance sheet and kind of go a little bit more in depth at the financials of Shopify and see what things on the balance sheet would make an investor go, hmm, this is something I want to hold long term because the value is there. So the first thing you see when looking at the balance sheet is the total cash and short term investments on hand for Shopify is $6.95 billion and the cash on hand is $3.35 billion, which represents a 64.7% growth versus the previous year. Accounts receivable is $789 million, which represents a 10.43% growth over the previous year. And the accounts receivable is $140.47 million, which in itself is a 1.64% difference from the previous year as well. Now, the total current assets that the company holds is $7.86 billion. So remember that number because it's going to be very important in a few seconds here. So looking at the total investments and advances issue, it's $1.9 billion. And the total intangible assets that it holds is $512 million. So the total assets combined with all those goodwill and everything like that is $10.75 billion. Now let's look at the liability. The short-term debt um, held by Shopify is $25.6 million. The accounts payable, which is the money that the company owes to other things, is $419 million, which is a 3% uh, decrease versus the previous year. And the total current liabilities is $703 million. Uh, now include the long-term debt, which is $912 million. And the uh, or and the capitalized leases and the regular long term debt of 1.7 billion. The total liabilities that the company holds is 2.03 billion dollars worth of debts, money owed, etc. Uh, on the balance sheet. Now, factor in the fact that the total current asset that holds 7.6 billion, the company would be able to pay off all of its debts should it needed to liquidate in any manner and have plenty of money left over to invest, to restructure, to pay out investors, to do whatever it needs to do um, because it is such a cash and asset rich company. So that's very, very important when looking at a long-term hold is how much capital and equity the company has built in. Now let's take a look at the PE ratio for Shopify, which as you see here is represented as a negative 20.7. Now, if you remember from our Palantir and PayPal videos, you know that a company with a higher negative PE ratio 
generally means that the company is a growth stock and it has not been reporting massive losses for a very long time. So generally, the higher the negative P-E ratio, uh, the better versus a low negative. So if it's like a negative one or negative two, it's much better to have a higher negative. Now, with Shopify, it can easily be attributed that the, the, the losses that the company had seen over the last year can be attributed directly to the ending of the coronavirus pandemic and the onset of people going back into brick and mortar locations versus the online marketplace that so many of us were accustomed to during that time. However, because P ratio shows that the company still has a lot of room to grow, this is something that investors have been kind of pinpointing as an area where, hey, look, look at this number. This data and analytics show that this company still has room to grow. This is something that you should always definitely hold for a long term period. And that's even more attributable when you look at the growth grade for Shopify. The year-over-year -year growth shows a 29.82% revenue growth, which is a B grade. And then the forward revenue growth year-over-year -year is 32.57%, which represents an A- minus grade. And that number, the second number, is representative of the money that the company can expect to receive in the future. So the fact that Shopify has such a high growth grade in both of these areas just means that there is going to be a, uh, a good chance of long-term profitability for this type of company. And even us here at Trading Analytics have a firm conviction that Shopify has the potential to be able to make our Hall of Fame wall due to its long-term prospects, which as you can see here, we have companies that have reached over 500, 600, and even a couple thousand percent returns on that as well. Link to the Discord will be in the description of this video as well as in our channel bio, so feel free to check that out. And with Shopify, there is a lot of factors that can be in play to uh, spearhead a huge growth in this stock as the years go by. We have a firm belief that in the next three to five years, we're going to see a huge return on our Shopify investment. And we think that this is something that if you haven't already, you should probably think to add this to your long-term portfolio just because the, the proof of concept is there. You saw what the company did last year when really people had no other option but to shop online. And as the e-commerce space online marketplace continues to grow, evolve, and develop, that Shopify has a strong place in that market space. And as a direct competitor with Amazon, it's only up from here. So it's going to be very interesting to see what this company does in the coming years. But we over here at Trading Analytics are firm believers that this stock is a definite buy. So I would do your research, look into that if you guys can. I've been Trade Runner. This is Trading Analytics. Link to our Discord will be in the description of this video as well as in our channel bio. If you haven't already, click that link in the description as well to get access to Moomoo to get your chance to get up to 15 free stocks worth up to $2,000. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.